Tri-State is about to get two competing riverfront music venues. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. A long-awaited $40 million project broke ground in Newport today. Megan Mangello tells us why it's causing a lot of political finger-pointing. Check out the brand new music venue coming to Northern Kentucky. Within hours of that announcement, developers across the river released this new rendering saying the design and engineering for the planned venue at the banks is complete. You know, we lost one today. Uh, it should not have been lost. It was a mistake by the county to reject the faster path. Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley calling out Hamilton County leaders for a delay in building next to Paul Brown Stadium. He disagrees with the decision to let the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra control it. He wanted Promo West and AEG, but they ended up in Newport. I understood once the RFP went out, I knew I wasn't going to win. Uh, all the politics, they're involved with all that. So we had looked at this site and we thought, actually, the day that I got turned down is the day I drove over here and signed the deal. The venue will be the first phase of the Ovation Project, which has been stalled for more than a decade. A prime 25-acre site where the Licking River meets the Ohio. Workers are putting the finishing touches on the new billboard that announces the premier concert experience coming to Newport. By the end of the year 2020, it'll be up and running for music fans. The design will seat up to 7,000 people outdoors, 2,700 indoors. Commissioner Denise Driehaus defended the county's decision. It's a little bit bigger than what's been planned at the banks, and so um, I feel as though they will complement one another and create a destination for Cincinnati. There's no update yet on when the bank's venue could break ground. Megan Mangello, Local 12 News. One plan for the banks has Hilltop Concrete moving down river so the Bengals can build a parking lot at the current site of that business. And the music venue can go into the team's current tailgating lot. So far, though, no deal.